Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play High Fleet. We're in Nimrith, and we're refueling, and we're not going to repair for 31.7 hours, because <clears throat> unfortunately our best lightning got hit with a cruise missile, and it wasn't pretty. So, we are going to, we know for a fact there's two missile strike groups, I suppose. Somewhere, someone, well, one of the missiles came from here. So, I guess they're here, and one of them came from around here, I think? And they've got a 2,000 uh, kilometer range, I believe. With the missiles, don't they? I thought they did. Um, at the beginning, did it say 2,000? I think they said 2,000. Hmm. Which would imply that the missiles coming from here were actually somewhere over here. I don't know. Either way, all right, let's uh, wait for that tiny little refuel thing, and then we're going to go. Now remember, last time, we've also said that we're going to be burning fuel on idle <clears throat> when we've landed. So, uh, yeah, let's go for enemy, uh, no, let's go for enemy reinforcements first. Yes, I know. <clears throat> Our morale is 10, though, across the board, because we've um, we've decided to keep warm by burning fuel, even when landed. Uh, so the crew is a lot happier now. So I'm just waiting for that infrared or uh, the Elent. I don't really want to use my radar right now. Man, but that sucks. That poor lightning. We gotta repair it as soon as possible. <clears throat> All right. So, no, why are you selecting Lightning Mark III Heavy? That's not going to do anything. It's got two engines, it's got one weapon, and it would just spin out of control. Well, actually, it's got two engines on the bottom as well, but yeah. Uh, I might send the Gladiator instead of the... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to send the Gladiator, I think. Let's do that. Only one, though. So, we we got to be careful here. Usually one lightning was enough, but remember, the Gladiator cannot really dodge missiles that well. Prasaya, now heading north, northeast. Oh, damn. So they're coming from there, going towards Zoba, I guess. Uh, 12 hours, speed 100, course north. Well, you've already said. So in 12 hours, they'll be in Zoba, I guess. Alright, let's see. No, what? Oh no, because the silent- Oh no, the silent strike was still- The alarm was still raised, wasn't it? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, crap. I am an idiot. Alright, see, this is the problem now. We do have flares. Yeah, we do have flares. Woo! Five flares. Ouch. Oh, this thing has a lot of turrets, though. Nice. Nice. And we want to be beneath them. Ow, 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 ow. And I don't want to impact the ground either. No, I'm going to be below you. It's like two kids. No, I'm going to be below you. No, I'm going to be. No, I'm going to be. <laughs> okay, that was good. And you could also see that little, uh, the, that palash thing in action. Uh, let's search for survivors first. See, we rescued two people and my kindness doesn't go up. That kind of sucks. Uh, I'm not going to dismantle that. Let's secure the fuel tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh. There's nothing I can do about this. I cannot send my own planes to fight them because it's... Okay, so there's a carrier group over there somewhere. I don't know what to do now. If I take off... It's probably not enough time to take off.
Against planes. Enemy aircraft incoming. Consider destroying the planes before they get close enough for a missile strike or bombing run. Friendly fire warning. Be careful. Yeah. I can't do anything about it. Come on. Lift off. Lift off. Oh no, the bombs. It's gonna destroy this thing. Oh, it didn't destroy it. Oh no, there's more of them coming. Can you please just lift off? Yeah, this, this thing is done. Oh no, all that armor is helping, I think. How did we survive that? They sent a whole damn strike group of, of aircraft. It took heavy damage, but how did we survive that? Holy moly. Oh. I was absolutely... I was absolutely sure we would lose the gladiator after the first bombing uh, run. That was insane. Wow. How did that not get completely annihilated? Oh, what's that over there? Look at 14. There's something big parked there. There's a 54 there. See if we can park there. Man, we took damage. I think we lost. No, we didn't lose uh, cannons. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, where's the 54? There's some ships we can buy here, though. I think. Can we squeeze in here? I think we can. Oh, uh, can we squeeze in there? Let's see. Just, maybe. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Must do small corrections. Small corrections. We're gonna hit that. Oh. How about that, huh? How about that for a landing? <coughs> okay, ship works. Excellent, we can hire stuff here. Oh, ouch. How long is this gonna take? Oh, 20 hours. Oh. Okay, start repairing. I don't care. I know. Okay. So what do we have? We've got a Yaris Mark II strategic frigate with fifth, uh, four missiles. Oh, it's a missile frigate. Interesting. Oh, and another longbow. That'd be kind of cool. But I don't know if we can afford that. <clears throat> I still cannot land our lightning, unfortunately. Oh, there's a Yars as well, a tactical missile carrier. Her reliable, sturdy armor can protect her priceless payload from close-range nuclear explosion. Just standing next to this vessel can make one rather uneasy. It's fairly cheap for what it is, though. I mean, this one is better value, though, because it's only 10,000 and it's got four missiles. I might try this. I mean, why not? All right, uh, where's the ship works? Man, I, I cannot land it. I mean, I can land this thing. It would be very tricky, but I would rather not... Uh, yeah, I would rather not try it. So these are cruise missiles. That's good. Um, we'll have to try that. Just strike them back. If they, if they keep doing that to us, we'll do that to them. F you and all that. Okay. It's only half an hour to put these planes on. That's very good. See, th here's the thing. You have a flight deck here. Uh, and I don't think there's any... Oh, yeah, there is a flight deck here. But we cannot put more stuff on there. Oh, doesn't matter. I, I could put more, uh, I suppose, of the hole around there. I do wonder what these antenna are for. I mean, you know, obviously what they're for, but... Uh, what do they actually serve? What purpose do they serve in the game? Could I... Oh yeah, you can put them like this. Look. Oh. Well, I didn't want to do that, but that's okay. See, and now you click undo. Let, let me just try something. So if we were to put it here, for example. And then take this and put it here. And then put some of this stuff. 
we would have more space for more planes, wouldn't we? Yes, we would. Can I just... Oh, okay. Um, so let's see. Um, this is all heavy stuff. Why is it so heavy? It doesn't need to be. Oh, this is some big hole parts. Need stuff like this, right? I mean, this is a... This is horrible, but... Kind of works. <laughs> it's going to take quite a long time, apparently. It snaps. There we go. Look at this beauty. It's a beauty. <laughs> wow, <What a> beauty. <laughs> we can have more planes now. Uh, let's just put them here. You know, my thinking is this thing is never in combat anyway, and it's still faster than the Sevastopol. Uh, so, you know, why not? Oh, what's going on here? Oh, they need more ammo, that's why. We need more ammo modules for that. And I cannot squeeze that one in, so I would have to uninstall it, install it. Yeah, it's going to take a long time. I don't know if I should do that. For now, I think I'm going to leave it as is. We don't have the time or the money to do all this stuff. Uh, we'll, we won't put it into the docks. I might want to put the Sevastopol into the docks, depending on how long it takes. So what kind of missiles does this thing have? It has the radar homing turbojet power cruise missiles. So, let's do... Radar homing tactical, tactical attack missiles then. Yeah. And I've decided to just wait a bit of time here. Um, let's put some engines in here. High efficiency fixed propulsion. Oh yeah, this is for larger ships. Uh, no, this. Uh, oh, not this one. This one. What does it say? Heavy ship. Yeah, but there's no space for it. So, oh well. Okay, Sevastopol. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's the Sevastopol. I shouldn't have saved it, I guess. How much fuel do we have? We've got enough fuel to get to Muchen. Much, Alright. And we cannot attack uh, because we've got the alarm that's been raised. So we got to wait over here. Come on, repair that thing. So we can land it. Where is it coming from? That... That way, okay. ETA in seven hours. Heading something cargo heavy. God damn it, the only thing that I wanted was, where is he heading? He could be heading north. He could be heading... West? Or south? I don't know. Okay, that thing is still not good. I'm waiting for the... Alarm to go away, or at least almost go away, so we can go. Oh, that's very close now. Okay, ETA in nine hours. Uh, 25. Let's see, 25, 17, 40, 12. So he's in Gazan, going 110, now heading south. Main cargo weaponry, originally. Okay, so he's going south here. Arrival in uh, nine hours. If we were to head there. Yeah, that's going to take us a lot longer. Of course, I could send stuff in front to capture it. I could send a Skylark. And let's say a Lightning Mark too, Like so. Uh, an intercept. That's only gonna take two hours. Look at that. Wait a second. Uh, that guy said their speed was 110? Yeah. So 110. Uh, so this is one hour. Let's say about, I don't know, here. 
three hours. You'll be here in three hours. The only problem is, again, these things seem to report you practically immediately. Look at that. I've got these missiles now. Um, so in three hours, they'll be there. If I send uh, the Skylark, they'll need two hours. So I will wait one hour. I, I don't have time for that right now. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Come on. I need to keep an eye out on the time. Yeah, something like that. Following the route, Mukin something Jairam. Okay, so he's Mukin Gazam Jairam. Uh, Jairam Jaffa. Uranium concentrate. Well, we could uh, catch this one as well. And how fast was it? Doesn't say. He's just following the route, so... Oh. We're gonna wait a bit more. Come on, and... Now we'll have to go. Oh yeah, I forgot, they, they need a bit of time to actually lift off, come on! Forgot about that. It's very specific with the uh, frequency, of course. Ah, and they started encrypting again. That's great. Uh, I don't know. I don't know for now. All right, so this thing is still in pretty poor shape. Uh, the rest of the fleet, I think, is gonna go for Mukan or uh, fuel. Just gonna wait a little bit and see what happens with the silent strike. If those guys, because I'm sure, yeah, of course they they immediately tell where we are. It's so ridiculous. Immediately. Skylark is just gonna wait there. I hate that. I hate that so much. I don't really understand why that's... What? And it's... See, it's even... It's got no escort. Ah, grr, grr, grr. Okay, so you guys meet with the Skylark. Go meet with them. And we gotta get out of here. Because the missiles are coming. And that's where the missiles will be mostly, uh, most likely coming from. Wait, why is it only the Skylark? It should be all of them. Okay, let me see. What is going on up there? Yeah, now, once again, we don't have a Silent Strike possible. Oh, jeez. These guys are talkative. Well, what we can try is do ETA or, um, you know, coordinates. Hmm. This could be at... Da -da -da -da. I don't know. Because there are... Although our, our coordinate uh, type stuff, is it ever encrypted? I mean, the numbers are, but the actual degrees... See? Ah, no, 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 okay. So that's why. The uh, the degrees and minutes and such are never really encrypted. That's why you can decrypt them, you know, reasonably easily. Uh, but not that one, I know. Alright, so let's see, where's the missiles? I know the missiles are coming. That's a very strong signal. Hmm. I don't know what that means. No idea. 
Uh, I was thinking of maybe sending them here to attack that other transport, but considering that one reported our position, everyone's gonna stay away from there. So that one is probably already turned around. Wow. <clears throat> at maybe at two. So many radio signals now. Everything coming from there. Oh well. And another one, of course. Why wouldn't there be? Because when we can decrypt stuff, there's all sorts. Oh. Why is this one suddenly so... I have no idea what's going on up there. Another one with no ETA, I guess. Okay, more. Yep, yep, of course. They really get talkative when, with it, when they know we can't decrypt their stuff. I mean, they, they don't know, but... Yeah. Don't know about that one. And more. Oh, jeez. Give me a break now. There's two actually going. Ah, here we go. We could work with this. Uh, what would that be? At? Now? That's weird. Let's try at. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Hmm. Well, that's not gonna be it. But wait a second, they're there, so we could try 25... 36. Um, so let's try, let's try 2536 for now. 25, yep, that might be at 36, look. 36. Um, what else? 25, thir 25, 30, 36, 58. Yeah, that's gonna be it. 58, nice. There we go. In PSN. I'm not really sure what that means. Going at 160, my route is a Muhungazam. Is a Muhungazam. Okay. So he's 160, though. That's another one that's going to report our position. It's really annoying. Mm, uranium concentrate requires provisions. And now we can finally see what all of the. Look at all of them. ETA in less than an hour. Speed 140, passengers, going south, cargo, uh, heading north, no passengers. Wire, whether you can supply, expect soon. Alright, so, uh, we want to rendezvous, there. and then we'll want to land somewhere and just wait out the alert. Is that really three of them now going on at the same time? Arriving in eight hours following the route move in Isaka, slaves. Ah, and this one is gonna be... A Tarkan wants to meet with you. Or son of Sayadi or whatever. Nope, we'll arrive in approximately... Less than an hour. Position, speed 40, da, 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 da. chemicals, wire, whether you supply, hydraulic oil. Alright. And there's another one. They are extraordinarily chatty in this part. Aren't they? 
It's just gonna be this me doing for the me doing this for the entire episode. Son of Sayadi also here wishes to meet with you. Yeah. And that is indeed pointing to Imgur again. So I suppose we'll have to get over there at some point. Bit out of the way now. Less than an hour, average speed, course, north, carrying slaves. So, uh, here's the thing. They said that, you know, everything's getting cold and we'll need the reactor in Kiva. What about all the other cities? They'll just freeze, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we'll want to land over here. And we'll still be burning fuel, which is not good. We'll have to keep an eye out on that because we need to have enough to actually get there. I don't know if you can bring fuel back for Sevastopol. I guess you can. We're at one of the Skylarks. What? Oh, okay. That one went away quickly. No destination. Yeah, just land. There we go. So let's see the fuel. Oh, geez, that's going down fast, actually. And these guys are captured. Oh, actually, we can go. Because, uh, yeah. Alarm is going to be done now. Expect in less than an hour, course north, uranium concentrates. Okay. Whoosh. Oh my god, there's just messages upon messages. From 40, gasm, gasm. What? Gasm, gasm. So he's just taking off in gasm and then going back to gasm. Alright. Yes, I know there's low fuel. Tarkin, sir? Uh, yes, General. Alright, let's see. Did they repair that one? Not much yet. So, Lightning Mark II is... Actually, I'm gonna send the Gladiator. It did pretty well. Um, despite the fact that it needs to be repaired. Uh, man, look at this thing. Alright, send them forward. Of course, there's more messages. Ah, oh, no, not now. Okay, that just went down immediately. Where's the thermal signature? Oh, that might be one of the... Uh... One of the transports. <clears throat> Come on. Following the route, Gazm, main cargo, or Albatross. Right. Oh, there's two of them. Excellent. Rescue hostages. <gasps> it's it's that guy. Um, uh, what's his? What is it? Uh, Pollux. Um, no. Uh, what was it? Wolf or something? You remember that? Long time ago, we we got that quest, cause uh, a governor took hostages and gold and everything. That's a lot of ships we have to fight with one gladiator, though. I better be careful. We don't have any... Any missiles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not good. Oh, freaking hell. That was really bad. The enemy has been destroyed. Okay, we've got armor on the top. We're good with that. Nice. Not much armor on the bottom, though. Nice. This thing is just annihilating everything. Freaking out. Not again. Come 
One more, I think. Well, we took a bit of damage, but uh, nothing bad really. It was mostly just armor. Uh, it looks like they destroyed some of the external structure, but that's fine. That's where the rockets would usually be, which we don't have. Well, the missiles. Uh, they didn't really damage anything. I mean, just armor. That's excellent. I know, I know we weren't going against uh, really big, powerful ships, but that was pretty good. Alright, uh, cruising range... Guns fully loaded is pretty good, I would say. The hostages shower you in gratitude and praise. The Doyen was telling the truth. The ship's hold is full of precious cargo. This convoy must have robbed many cities along the way. Excellent. 10,000 gold. Plus two Garrett. Excellent. Plus two order. Oh, that was good. Plus one order. <laughs> That was very good. Alright, let's uh, search the... Well, let's secure the fuel tanks. There's a Zenith missile. Well, three of them. Of course, more messages. Come on. I'm trying to keep an eye out on what they're doing down there as well. <clears throat> oh, good! They start... <laughs> oh, come on. I've just deciphered the damn thing. Okay. Oh! What? Why did that explode? We were... We were doing stuff with it. What? Oh, that's nice. Look at all that stuff. Very nice. Alright. Let's land and let's sell that one as well. Yeah, a fair bit of damage, but it was mostly armor. That's really nice. Also, that palash is good. Oh, warm clothing. After landing, Pyotr Ignatievich asks to speak with you in private. Mark, he says quietly, we don't have nearly enough warm clothing in the squadron. I ordered all crewmen on duty to be given high altitude suits, but we only have so many, and I fear we'll soon need warm clothing for every last one of us. But we're burning fuel. Pyotr glance, uh, glances somberly at the city. Wait, you mean Pyotr glances somberly at the city? We ought to acquire as much warm clothing as we can from the locals, while we still can. Very well, purchase warm clothing as much as we can afford. We can no longer afford to be civil, Pyotr. Send in the troops, tell them to confiscate all the warm clothing they can find. We cannot afford... Yeah, let's, uh, let's buy it. Smelling profit, the merchants jacked up their prices. The fools had no idea what was coming. Wool robes are soon distributed among the crew, along with Pyotr's orders to wear them over their uniforms. It takes the men a while to stop choking back laughter every time they see each other, but nobody on duty complains about the cold anymore. 5,000. Well, that's... I'm good with that. Morale plus 5. Jeez. We don't need more morale right now. Um, right. Ship works. This thing needs repairs. Oh, wait. I thought I was uh, landing this thing. 27, 39, 58, 113. I wonder if you can land outside the city as well. What does that do then? Probably doesn't give you any bonuses to repairs. Yeah, this will be a good place. Gently, gently. Lovely. 113%, that's pretty nice. Yes, we've already said repair. 8.8 .8 hours, that's not too bad. They barely have anything over here, but that's okay. Yeah, see. Only damaged a couple of the engines. Damaged the uh, ammo thingy. Not much, really. Well, actually, a lot of the engines, but yeah, that's, that's good. All this armor really helps. I'm tempted to put even more armor on. And even at 2.5 thrust to weight ratio, th this thing was reasonably uh, maneuverable, really. I mean, it was a bit more lumbering, definitely, but, uh, yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good indeed.
I just have to remember not to expose my <laughs> rear. But I usually do that anyway. In life as well. <laughs> have a good one, everyone. I hope you're enjoying this and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.